Hello everyone, today let's look at ratio word problems and this is from P6 Mathematics. Okay, question 1. First, let's read the question. Mr. Go had a total of 350 kaya buns and cheese buns. The ratio of the number of kaya buns to the number of cheese buns he had was 3 is to 2. After selling the same number of kaya buns and cheese buns, the ratio of the number of kaya buns to the number of cheese buns he had became 3 is to 1. How many kaya buns did Mr. Go sell? Next, let's underline or highlight the keywords or phrases from this question. So the first key phrase is, Mr. Go had a total of 250 kaya buns and cheese buns. The next key phrase is, his ratio of the number of kaya buns to the number of cheese buns was 3 is to 2. Then, he sell the same number of kaya buns and cheese buns and the ratio became 3 is to 1. So, we need to find how many kaya buns did Mr. Go sell. Alright. So, we know that from the first sentence, there are a total of 250 buns. Okay. Before, Mr. Go had a ratio of 3 is to 2 for the number of kaya buns to cheese buns. Then, after selling the same number of kaya buns and cheese buns, after his ratio became 3 is to 1. So, from here, you got to take note, because he sold the same number of kaya buns and cheese buns, the difference between the number of kaya buns and cheese buns would remain the same before and after. So, this is a constant difference question. So, the difference before between kaya buns and cheese buns will be 1 unit and after it is 2 units so we need to make it the difference to be the same because there is no change in the difference between the number of the two different types of buns so how do you make the difference to be the same for before and after so we got to multiply by 2 for the difference before and because you multiply by 2 for the difference before, you got to multiply by 2 for the kaya buns and cheese buns. The units, 3 units times 2, 2 units times 2, and 1 unit times 2. And you get 6 is to 4 is to 2. Once you have made the difference to be constant for before and after, then you can see that from the, for the kaya buns before, from 6 units has dropped to 3 units. And for cheese bun, also from 4 units, minus 3 units will be 1 unit. So you can see that the number of units for kaya buns and cheese bun dropped by 3 units and it's the same. And it matches the sentence in the question saying that Mr. Go sold the same number of kaya buns and cheese buns. So before we know that the total of 250 buns, so if you take 6 units plus 4 units, you get 10 units and 10 units will be equals to 250 buns. So once you know 10 units is 250, you can find 1 unit will be equals to 25. And because you want to find how many kaya buns did Mr. Go sell, he sold 3 units. Alright, from 6 units drop to 3 units, so he sold 3 units. So you find 3 units will be equals to 75 buns. If you want to find the number of cheese buns Mr. Go sell, it will be 3 units as well because the same number of kaya buns and cheese buns were sold. So the answer will be 75 kaya buns. So that's all. Thank you. Bye-bye.